Hello everyone. So today we're going to take a look at Waves NLS plugin. So basically I'll give you guys a sort of overview of what this plugin actually is. Uh, secondly, I'll kind of go through the plugin um, in depth, kind of through all the different parameters and stuff. I'll also be going through how to use the VCA group stuff, which is the more difficult part of the plugin. And I'll also tell you guys how to use the plugin in the two different ways. The first way is to be is to mimic um, preamp coloration from an analog console. The second way is to mimic analog summing from an analog console. And then I'll be doing some uh, kind of audio demos and more of a review kind of thing. So the audio demo and the review is going to be part three. And the more tutorial in-depth stuff is going to be part two. And part one is this video. And I'm going to just finish up by explaining this plugin. Kind of more overview-ish. So basically... Waves, what they were trying to do here with this thing is to capture as much analog um, characteristics from analog consoles as they can. Um, whether that's like the harmonics, uh, the distortion, uh, what happens when the signal is clipping. So there's going to be like some kind of tube, soft clipping, that kind of stuff. I think they also captured like stereo imaging that gets affected in some way uh, things like that all that stuff has been captured into this plugin and it's been kind of captured by well by waves but it's they're mimicking three different types of consoles here so we have this guy named spike another guy mike and another guy niveau and each of them has a different console. Spike is an SSL 4000G console. Mike is an EMI TG12345 Mark IV console. And uh, Nevo is a Neve 5116 console. So each one of these sounds actually quite a bit different. And you'll notice when we do the uh, the audio demos just how different they are. They're more different, especially when you're driving it quite a lot. You'll you'll hear the difference. And uh, yeah, I think Waves did a really, really good job on this stuff. I, I'm starting to use this plugin a lot more now. Um, another thing to note is that this plugin is kind of a two-part plugin. So you'll notice I have this channel and this bus. And when you're actually going to select these things... They are two different things. You're selecting two different plugins, essentially. But these things are interconnected, and they work together in, in a way that kind of just makes it this one plugin. And I'll explain that kind of more in detail um, in the next video. So, yeah, hopefully that gives a good overview. Let's just take another quick look at this thing to see the concepts and terminology analog character. So let's see here. There's frequency response. Depending on circuit signals and stuff, it affects the EQ. It affects uh, total, let's see, harmonics. Total harmonic distortion. There's a low level distortion based on levels of odd and even harmonics. So there's all kinds of things. Yeah, there's clipping. There's just the general noise from the, the analog console when it's just sitting there. It's generating noise. Um, yeah, so that's all being captured in this plugin. And not only is it just three different consoles, but what they've done is they've, for each console, they've captured 32 different channels. So you can go into all of your different tracks here, and you can set up a different channel for each track, and that'll make each track essentially kind of like a whole new not a whole new plugin but it's going to be a whole new sound because each channel is different um yeah hopefully that kind of gives a good little rundown of what this thing is 
Uh, there's also this manual, and there's uh, quite a few different videos, I think, on YouTube or whatnot. So hopefully that helps, and catch you in the next video for some more in-depth stuff.